So here we are using the Arduino Mega and we're using a line tracker on the analog to observe the analog value here on this line. And then we have the push button here to just kind of get a general digital communication on this bottom line here. And then we have AACC Mechatronics and then the VEX Mega Controller is the title. So um, we're gonna observe the analog value first pointing straight up so picking up a lot of light right now from the lamp it's kind of at a low value i'll put it down on the desk real quick watch it shoot up there we go actually maybe should should go a little higher but yeah there we go yep around nine thousand. and then if we look at the button it says button is not pressed i'm gonna press the button on camera here when pressed, it'll say button is pressed. I put some, um, I put the padding in the code before pressed instead of after, just so the word pressed would stay in the same place every time. Just take the word not out. But this is the official introduction for our servo motor um, being activated by our mega here. I'm plugged into digital pin two for the servo. And we're just using this simple program here to go through our different angles. You can see I'm just using the servo main attach with the pin only. And we're using 45, 0, 90, 135, 180, and 90 again. So we can see here 0, 90, 135, 180, back to 90, 45, 0. And we're just on a non-stop loop following those angles with a one second delay in between. That's about it right there. For this part of the lab, we're gonna be using the VEX potentiometer and the servo motor. Note that I have the potentiometer in A0 and the servo into digital pin two. If you look at the code, it's actually very similar to our first code because we're using all the same LCD settings to control our LCD screen over here. And a lot of the text stayed the same as well. So I didn't have to change any of that. The only thing I did change is the angle right here. I added this in or changed the former line to angle is because now we want to record the angle, which is going to be the same as the number on the analog value line, but that's okay. It's going to be the same because we used a map. Here we go. We mapped the value of the potentiometer to scale down to what our servo can see. So instead of 1023 being the max, which is what our analog potentiometer would be showing, we're now going to be showing a max of 180 because the servo can only go to 180 degrees. So from 1023 to 180, is probably the most important part about all of this. Um, then I just have a, a simple value uh, print right here that's going to be printing the angle which is going to be the same as the analog value because of our map so let's just go ahead and give it a turn here there you go, slow and steady we can see we can see angle going up as analog value goes up all the way to 180 And then back down. For this last part, we'll be using a DC motor as well as two VEX push buttons and our Mega, of course. I have the two VEX push buttons into analog pins A0 and A1. And then I have the motor going into pin seven of the digital side here. So the idea for this exercise was if I press, if I press push button one, then the motor will move in a forward direction or whichever the positive direction would be as it's just sitting here. And then if I were to press and hold this uh, second push button, then the motor would move in the opposite direction, moving backwards. So I was going to show this in my code since I could not actually get it to run. I was gonna show, I would do this by using if statements and my analog read since I'm plugged into the analog side over here on my mega. And um, I believe that the forward position would be 2000. That's our 
that, that's our forward. 1500 is the neutral, and then 1000 would be backward for this DC motor here. We're using the servo instructions, they'll still work for the DC motor. Um, so I have button one, when button one is high, the servo motor is at 2000, or should write 2000, so it'll be moving forward. Then an else if button two is pressed and held high, the servo will write 1000, moving backwards. And then I just add these, another if else if statement down here below for printing on the LCD if it was going to be going forward or backward when those buttons were pressed. I was running into some technical difficulties so I couldn't get that part even. But yeah, I have the directions set up. Thought I had the buttons done correctly, but um, I do have a logic error somewhere.